Hey babes, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna give you guys an update and I'm also going to be answering some questions from my last video when I was giving you guys all the info about how to deal with brightening and correcting your bikini line and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I have two past videos where I basically talked about dealing with your bikini line, okay? Listen and hear me well and hear me clearly. If you need to, break out a notepad your phone notepad a pen and start taking notes okay because i'm i'm not talking about this no more it's not that i feel like that i don't want to talk about it anymore it's just what i feel like right now is what i do for my bikini line is pretty much a staple and i have i pretty much have a routine so yeah hopefully i cover all of the questions that i didn't answer in my last two videos but if i miss some and i know i missed some you can comment below and i will answer them for you because the thing is a lot of people tend to ask the same questions over and over and over again and i get tired of answering them. so this video particularly is going to focus on updates and me answering questions i'm really not going to go too much in depth but um if you guys want to see an in-depth video please refer to those all right all right, so the first question I have here, it says, does that sunscreen make your face ashy? So I think this was in response to one of my videos when I was talking about how I also correct dark spots on my face. It's the minerals that are in it that's protecting your skin from the sun. That is what's making your face look ashy. You can go ahead, like many of us normal people do, and we put on a moisturizer boom there you go sunscreen moisturizer you're good to go all right so my next question is hey so when you're using the pfb in the divine derriere lightener are you able to continue getting brazilian waxes all right so if you guys remember when i was telling you how i use these products when i have any type of maintenance to my private area schedule i do not use anything that's because i don't want to cause any irritation on my end i just want to be completely safe so when you're going in it's okay to not use it for a day now the day after you can continue with your routine now if you have the day before then you of course you can use it the day before all right because the product has had time to soak into your skin and i'm just like waxing waxing they usually say what well, don't get in the water for about 24 to 48 hours or whatever they say i'm the same way when it comes down to using products that i know can help with ingrown hairs and brightening i do not like to use anything for the first 24 hours after getting any type of waxing because i just do not wants to cause any type of irritation that's just what it is this person asks is it safe to use the kojic soap around the intimate area i replied to them i said i personally wouldn't i use this for my face and other less sensitive areas do not listen to that person that said to use the kojic acid soap around your bikini line that stuff burns i have burned my face before using the kojic acid soap so what makes you think I want to put it around my personal private area to risk it getting burned down there. The damage will be way more worse in my private area than on my face. So listen to me, do not use kojic acid soap around your intimate area. Don't do it, all right? Okay, so the next question I have here is what is the difference between the PFB Ultra and the PFB Chroma Bright? Now, just so you guys know, I've never used the PFB Ultra. I have only used the PFB Chroma Bright. So I'm really not sure what is the difference between the two. But if I had to take a guess or a gander, I would definitely say the Chroma Bright is going to be the difference because the Chroma Bright is supposed to also help with brightening the skin tone. But if you guys would love to have more information on the difference between the two, I will link both of the products below in my description box so you guys can look at them and decipher for yourself the next question i have here is what did you do to help the peeling i don't know what to do now if you start to experience peeling in your intimate area or if you're experiencing peeling on your face anywhere my best option for you is to use something use a moisturizer i would prefer that you use a moisturizer that does not have any fragrance in it also a moisturizer that is for sensitive skin 
when you are going through these processes of using, you know, Kojic Acid Soap or using a PF Chroma Bright, it does tend to make your skin a little dry. So use something that is very moisturizing, but yet sensitive and sensitive enough to where it doesn't cause any type of inflammation or redness in those sensitive areas. All right, it says, if you stop using the Kojic or Natanola, will you get darker? Let me tell you guys, it is good to take breaks in between products. So what you wanna do, if you're using a product for let's say four to six months and it's time for you to take a break, you're worried about will it revert back? Like will you get dark spots again, those same old dark spots that you correct, will you get those back? The answer is no. But if you get new breakouts and you pick with them or you're just prone to scarring, whether you mess with the breakouts or not, then of course you will get a new dark spot that needs to be corrected. The next question is, are you still using these products? Yes, I am. I still use these products. Now, I do not have to use them as often, but I definitely still use them. All right, so my next question is, how long do you leave the Chroma Bright on? The thing is, when you are putting on the Chroma Bright, you do not wash it off. You leave it on. You actually want to at least give yourself a good five minutes for it to actually soak into your skin. You don't want to put it on and then directly put on your clothes because the thing is, then the product will soak into your clothes and then it's completely pointless. All right, it says, how often do you use the Kojic Acid Soap? This literally depends on what I have going on. If I'm having a lot of dark spots from breakouts, then I will use it about twice a day. But say my dark spots are not as heavy as they usually are, I'll switch it to like once a day. And then after that, I'll branch it out to every two days, every three days, or once a week. It honestly depends on the severity of your skin. The purpose of this is to wean yourself off of it and then only use it when it's necessary. So my next question is, can you apply the product to your entire face to ensure an even tone? Because I don't want my jawline to be brighter than the rest of my face. And then I replied to them, I said, from my personal experience, I only apply it to the necessary areas. I have not experienced an uneven result. You just have to see what works best for you. Now, I know this tends to be a concern for a lot of people like, oh my God, if I'm putting it in one area, will it brighten up that total area and then the rest of my face is dark? Now, some people do have that problem with hyperpigmentation. It's mainly in African-American women that will have, the center of our face will be really bright, but the perimeter will be dark. This is a really big problem in the African-American community. So, I definitely understand the concern there. So if you're interested in trying to even your entire tone, then definitely go ahead and use the Kojic Acid Soap all over. Or you can use a PF Chroma Bright on your face, but I have never used a PF Chroma Bright on my face. So I do not know what to expect if you use a PF Chroma Bright on your face. The next question is, how often do you exfoliate with the product or how do you, do you apply it four times a day? I apply it in the morning, evening, afternoon, and night. So that's the best way I can answer that part of the question. It says, how often do you exfoliate? Honestly, my exfoliation can depend. I may exfoliate twice a day. I may exfoliate once a day. I may exfoliate three times that week. It honestly depends on what I'm trying to do. Oh, and also, I don't exfoliate with the product. Like, that, no, I don't exfoliate with it. The next question says, what is the waiting time between applying this product and then hair removal. Should I be waiting one hour, two hours? Thanks in advance. This, I feel, I feel like I answered it early in this video. You do not, if you're going to have a wax or shave or plan on in doing any type of hair removal process, you want to wait at least 24 hours, period. All right, so the next question says, do I shave using this product? No, are you crazy? Why would you shave using this product did you watch the video that's my next question for you did you watch the video make sure you do it make sure you go watch my last video all right so my last question here it says does the chroma bright work for dark spots not due to ingrown hair absolutely the chroma bright will help with correcting dark spots it's just a bonus that it helps with ingrown hairs as well all right so i have answered as many questions as i could i feel like that was a nice amount of questions so i'm gonna go ahead and move on to telling you guys 
all about the PF Chroma Bright. I have it here and we're going to talk about it. But I am also using a new product. I'm not new to the line, but I am new to the product. So let's go ahead and start with the PFB Chroma Bright. So as we all know, the PFB Chroma Bright is supposed to help with skin brightening, ingrown hair relief, and waxing and razor bumps so i was using this i want to say all last year of 2019 or was it 2018 i've been using it for a while this is my second bottle they tend to last a very 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 long time so um yeah this stuff works awesome now i'm not going to get too deep into how to use these products but i'm just i'm going to basically keep it on the surface for you guys what you want to do okay are you, are you guys listening depending on how many times a day you're going to use this product if you're going to use it twice a day meaning morning and night you want to put it on after you get out of the shower and your pores are completely closed okay that's what you want to do now let me give you an example because it seems like you guys need an example this is an example of how i do it what i do when i wake up in the morning I'll go get in the shower. Boom, 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 boom. All right. You know what it's time for? My makeup routine. Skincare, my makeup routine. What I would do, I will wait about probably 10 to 15 minutes after my body is completely dry. I will then go ahead and apply the PFB Chroma Bright to my private area. While I'm doing my makeup and all that, it's soaking into my skin. And by the time I get ready to put on my clothes and head out the door, I'm good to go it is as simple as that I don't know I hate to say it but I don't know why some people act like this is such a hard process it's like you putting on lotion like it's really it's really not that hard y'all are overthinking like stop overthinking all right so next I want to introduce a new product that I'm using if you guys remember I had started using Divine Derriere's like 10% concentrate or something like that. I don't remember the exact name of the product, but I will put it in my description box. But it was like a gel formula. I saw that Divine Derriere end up coming out with uh, an, almost like an entire line of products that are dedicated for the bikini line. And I really like that product. So I thought, why not try it? So I picked up their Intimate Area Ingrown Hair Shaving and Waxing 10% Ultra Relief Concentrate. And this is supposed to help with ingrown hairs, razor bumps, shaving and waxing, and it also is supposed to help with skin brightening. So I already know you guys are like, well, why do you need two skin brightening products? Well, what's wrong with the PFB plus Chroma Bright? Well, why you stop using it? Well, why this? Why that? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let me tell you guys something. It is nothing wrong with trying new stuff, okay? It is nothing wrong with trying new stuff. I don't have to use the same thing forever and ever and ever. So I did take the initiative to write out all the ingredients for the PFE Chroma Bright and the Intimate Area Ingrown Hair by Divine Derriere. And let me tell you guys, they have ingredients that are the same and then they have ingredients that are different. I'm not going to list all those ingredients because it's just, it's a lot. But they do have their differences, but they do have their similarities. So... The first major difference between the two is going to be the price point. The PFB Plus Chroma Bright is $30, but the Divine Derriere Brightening Treatment is actually $20. And if you have Amazon Prime, you can actually get it for $15. And then this one helps with redness relief. So for me, that was a big reason why I want to try the Divine Derriere Intimate Area Brightener is because it guaranteed that it could help with redness relief and it actually does. So that was a really great thing that I discovered about the Divine Derriere versus the PFB Chroma Bright because when I first started using this one, it did cause my skin to flare and get a little bit of redness. So I had to go behind it with some type of like um, aloe vera or something to really help calm it because I noticed that my skin was flaring up a little bit, but it was still, you know, I was still getting results as well, but I did notice that. So this one does it all. All right, so both of these products, you can use them for the face, neck, underarms, and bikini line. Now the Divine Derriere says you can use it for the decollete, which is this area. Me, I haven't tried it just yet for that area because I don't experience too much there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer this question. People want to know which one I prefer. 
Honestly, honestly, I could do either one. But I do prefer the Divine Derriere over the PFB Plus Chroma Bright. Strictly based off the reason because it helps with redness reduction, nothing else. Essentially, these products are on an even playing field. I believe the Divine Derriere has four stars on Amazon and the PFB Chroma Bright has a four and a half. But all right, guys, um, that is going to be it for this update video as far as my bikini line goes it's looking fabulous it's looking great all right your girl has a couple of vacations lined up but i don't know with this um new strand of the flu going on out here who knows i might just end up i don't know the way they canceling flights and you can't go here and you can't go there like look i don't know my bikini line might be in might be hiding for a couple more months until all this mess dies down so yeah if you guys have any new questions concerning the pfe chroma bright or the divine derriere brightener please comment below as far as any old questions about how to use it about this about that i will be referring you guys to my old videos because i feel like those videos were so much more detailed than this one because it's strictly just an update video all right guys so please make sure you go ahead and smash that like button for me to let me know that you guys enjoyed this video and yeah i will see you guys on my next video and thank you for watching bye guys